Hello, how is it going? It is Fake Hero coming at you once again with another Runeterra video. Just quickly want to discuss an upcoming update. In approximately a week, they're adding more agency to progression. Uh, what exactly does that mean? Well, let's discuss it quickly. Uh, they pretty much talk about their previous patches and what they kind of thought about it. Uh, cool. Here's the deal. Here is the deal. Okay. As design director Andrew Umbridge, yip talked about in his state of the beta article we're seeing lots of positive results overall from the progressive progression system however some of the methods we choose to achieve certain goals like ensuring the meta continues to evolve and supporting the different ways players invest their time and money aren't doing the job as well as we'd like okay i'm listening so we're adding more agency to your progression here we go 360 moment right here Champion, a champion wildcard each week from the vault that can now level up infinitely. No daily XP cap. This is like the one that makes a, a lot of sense to me. Like, why would there be a cap? Why would you punish players that are grinding out? You know, reward them by at least letting them progress at the pace they would like to. An unlimited direct purchase of any card. This also makes sense. Like, honestly, like, I'm surprised they even put a cap on the purchases. Uh, it doesn't really affect any anyone or anyone's gameplay. Honestly, this is probably going to be really good for, you know, content creators or anybody that's interested in just getting into the game quickly and wants to get access to as many cards as they want. Don't limit their wallets. They want to spend money. That's fair enough. You're not hurting the free-to-play players. Actually, you're making it easier for them. Our goal is to give you the ability to get what you want, how you want in-game, where players can compete regardless of how much they spend or how fat their wallets are. We think this set of changes will maximize your ability to experiment with different cards. Yes, I agree. I'm only just recently getting into the game and I would like to at least have the ability to access cards as I need to when I please. Uh, ensure a faster and more reliable time to deck and will keep things accessible for every law player. Effective starting patch 0.9.3, you'll be able to earn unlimited and improved vault rewards. Level 2 plus includes an expedition token this is good i don't think enough people play an expedition maybe if you give them a token they will be more incentivized to at least uh make a deck and then surrender immediately so they can get their champion wildcard as we'll find out shortly actually no i think they're getting rid of that level five plus includes a random champion card <laughs> brackets you can brawn wave goodbye to a bad luck vaults with no champions level 10 plus includes a champion wild card replaces level five random champion card a yeah, wild card you know this kind of goes along with what they originally spoke about giving players access to just be able to get the cards they want and play when they want beyond level 13 unlock additional unlimited capsules each of which contains at least three rares two comments with a chance to upgrade earn unlimited xp uh, again this just makes total sense uh it's just one flat xp amount don't punish players who want to grind it out purchase unlimited wild cards yes this is also going to be very relevant for when future expansions come out or for content creators okay easily and consistently play expeditions they're reducing i'm not gonna read this they're reducing the cost of um entry uh but uh they're kind of reducing the rewards i guess XP boosts and level region roads. So this is like the uh, the region road thing where you choose your region and you gain XP to that. That's going to increase uh, and you gain, these levels will increase any XP you gain towards unlocking them, accelerating your progress through the earlier part of the road, allowing new plus returning players to catch up quickly. The above changes, excluding the XP boost levels will be live on March 31st with patch 0.93. We're giving you early notice because we want to be transparent. Okay. And then they start talking about where we started, where we ended up. I'll leave a link to this anyway. In Progression 2.0, they talk about, uh, which I'm not too aware of, but their previous goals have not changed. They are still evolving and they want to push forward. Um, nothing more really relevant here. Uh, all in all, I'd say the greatest thing to take out of this is the XP gain. It's not affecting anyone's gameplay yet probably rewarding the players that have already been playing you know regardless of how much they spend everyone's i think winning 
Except for maybe, um... I'm not too sure. This should hopefully balance out with the expeditions. I'm sure it won't impact too much. Making it cheaper just means the players that at least want to play expedition more consistently, uh, it's cheaper entry, and if they're playing well, they're probably getting just as good rewards. I doubt they would have nerfed it. That would not make sense, so hopefully I've done the right thing here. Alrighty, guys. Hope you enjoyed this quick update. Hopefully this uh, is exciting news for some of you. Uh, for me, it's exciting because I've only just started to recently play and the XP gains and the access to more cards is going to be super helpful going into the future. Y'all have a great day. Uh, stay safe and take care of yourselves.